February 14th, 2018. I was at Westglades Middle School in my fifth period class, filming a project with my friends, when I heard a fire alarm over at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. I then heard gunshots and ran inside. I sat on my desk and I felt something strange. I didn't know what it was until I felt a large pain in my chest. I realized it was a message saying my sister, Gina Rose Montalto, would not be coming home today. I ignored it out of hope and I waited until I was clear to go home. I got on my bike and I rode as fast as I could. I dropped my stuff at the door and I yelled for my mom and dad. They were leaving to go see if Gina was safe. They told me to wait at home with my uncle. At 10 p.m., they returned as I was eating dinner. They had tears in their eyes. They said she was dead. The worst part about it was, that morning, I did not say goodbye to her. Gina was my only sister. She was fun to be with. She was really smart. She would help me whenever I needed it. I will never have that again. I will never be able to watch TV with her, talk about books with her. Every day, I walk by her room and see that it's empty. Every day, I see pictures and I think about her. Every day, I wake up and I remember that she will not be there. It's a great pain that only I feel, to go from a younger brother to an only child in less than six hours is a dramatic change for anyone. Every day, I wish I could come home and see her again. Every day, I wish this had never happened. Every day, I wish I had said goodbye like I should have. While this reality I now live in is an unfortunate truth, an even more unfortunate truth is that this country has forgotten who the victim is. The murderer is not a victim of drinking during pregnancy. He is not a victim of mental health issues. He is a murdering bastard that should be made an example by being sentenced to death. He shouldn't live while my sister rots in a grave. The jury has failed the families, the victims, and me. Was this mass murder a victim when he put, when he put the gun to my sister's chest and shot her? Was he a victim when he shot her again? Was he a victim when he shot her two more times on his second pass? Some jurors may have thought so, but I know he is just a murdering bastard. I'm speaking about this today because I've held my tongue long enough. People I've heard from adults and parents, police and medical staff, but they haven't heard from me. A boy whose life was changed in a flash when this murdering bastard chose to kill my fun-loving older sister, Gina Rose Montalto. I hope the jurors that allowed him to live will regret the decision after hearing this from me today. Thank you.